Hello my Dorklings and welcome back to another unboxing. In today's video we'll be taking a look at another Bauer product. It is the 50 LED light for smartphones and DSLR cameras. Taking a quick look at the box, we can see it contains the light itself, a mount, a micro USB charging cable, and three colored plates. Like most of the other Bauer products I've unboxed, this one is great for vlogging, live videos, video chats, social media, and live streaming. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. While taking a look at the quick start guide, it shows that you can mount it on a tripod, hold it in your hand, etc, etc. Also in the guide, I found out it takes around 2 hours to charge, and it lasts about 40 minutes if you use it continuously on the highest setting, which is number 3. As you can see here, we have a shoe mount. We also have our phone grip with threads on the back and the bottom, so you can mount it to your liking. To mount everything, you want to insert your hot shoe into the base and use the bottom screw to tighten it into place. Up next, we have the light itself with the charging port on the bottom and the power switch on the side. Here we have the three different plates you can choose from. Up first is the orange plate which should give you warmer tones. Here is the white plate which will act as a traditional diffuser and make the light spread out more evenly. And lastly we have our blue plate to give you cooler tones. To add the light to your shoe mount, just fasten it righty tight until you reach the point that you want it to and then use the top screw to turn it lefty loosey to fasten it so it won't fall off. To turn the light on, locate the power button on the side and hold it down for about two and a half seconds. Once it's on, it will be on the lowest setting by default. To make it brighter, click the power button once to go to the middle setting and once more to go to the brightest setting. To turn the light off, just simply hold the power button down for two and a half seconds again. To apply a plate, just align the singular tab to the top and the two on the bottom and press until you hear a snap. As I mentioned before, this is the white plate, which will act as a traditional diffuser and it'll disperse the light more evenly. Here it is on the lowest setting, the middle setting, and the brightest setting. Up next is our orange plate. This will give you warmer tones, similar to the slider on Instagram when you bump it up to the right. And following up is the blue plate, which will give you cooler tones, just like bumping the Instagram slider down to the left. Up next, I'm going to be showing you how to attach the light to the tripod. It's a pretty straightforward process, just righty tight to mount, and then you add your phone. Now that everything's mounted, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the front-facing camera of your phone. Starting off with the white plate at its lowest setting, its middle setting, and its brightest setting. Next up is our orange light at its lowest setting, mid setting, and brightest setting. And lastly we have our blue plate at its lowest setting, mid setting, and high setting. Another cool thing you can do is attach the light to a tripod or a multi mount so you can use it as a work light or change the angle of your lighting. Again, it's the same process as before, you just fasten the light to the tripod, turning it righty tight. And if you have a Gorillapod like me, you can actually mount it pretty much anywhere. How cool is that? Okay, so that's going to wrap up today's video, my Dorklings. You stay retro, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!